Peace, it's your boy 2Js. And I'm Guap Dad 4000, baby. We at SneakerCon. Let's go check it out, bro. Let's talk to some folks. You check family out yet? Nuh-uh. So family is probably one of the greatest collectors I've, I've come across. These are some of the craziest shoes that are in this room. So some of these are like called PEs. Those are player exclusives. They're only given to student athletes. Yeah. And they only get to keep them once they graduate. For me, it's the dooms, dog. I used to draw these shoes, like in my notebook. Man. So family, so are there any of the shoes that you want to talk about that are your personal favorites? For me, I'm from Oregon, so you see the Oregon Duck yeah. stuff over there. Stuff that got memories, like I graduated in college, and these, like yeah. I opened a $500,000 mystery box, I got these out of the box, <laughs> like. You spent how much on the box? It was a $500,000 box, yeah. <laughs> There was some crazy stuff in there for sure. You couldn't have gone to the casino to get better odds? <laughs> you gotta really love this shit. And that's what makes sneakers fun because yeah. you get to go out and hunt down these shoes. And like, yeah, you can go buy the shoes that everybody else got, but like, when you get to find the people and meet the relationships and do all that stuff, like, that's what makes it fun and going chasing it down, take you three years to find it. That's the fun part about it. And this is why I love this culture, bro, <laughs> because it's all walks of life and every single time it's, it goes in a direction that you can't even make up. Coming out of Vegas, bring it back. Uh, we got three stores in there, been open six years mm. we started in 2017 just a group of friends we've been homies since middle school and it's just been going up since beautiful shoe 2009 the 420 yeah. release with the Legendary. yeah now they like add that into all the shoes like a lot of them but nah this one's the one that started it come on bring it back <laughs> these boys get all the shoes early yeah they got this thing it's called the early birds what they really do is like they're just showing you the shoes a lot earlier than everybody else. Mm -hmm. Family, Guap. What you doing, up, man? Scotty, man? Guap, man. Nice right, to meet so you. Flea two. Yes. Talk to me. What's your main opinion on these shoes right here? I love the chunkiness. I love the full on aesthetic of cactus plant. You know. I what, think from the style know? of what I'm looking at right now, I feel like you would. This is something that you I would. I would completely buy these. these easily kill in the fit. Yeah. Though they did wrong was the sizes are too big. So my business mm. partner is a size 13. Yeah. And they fit him. Oh and this my is a God. this is a produced pair as a 10 and a half. So if you do end up getting these, just make sure that you size down a whole bunch so that way it'll fit your foot. This is the one that's been taking everybody's eye the entire time. Yeah. These are the Powder Puff Girls. Uh -huh. Blossom, Bubbles, Buttercup. There you go. What See, doing? he didn't even have to read the tongues to <laughs> no, know exactly I'm what color knowing. difference with these person. <laughs> the one thing that's cool about what they did here is, of course, a lot of people are, are, are not liking the eyes on the back. I'm a fan of it. I like I to see it. something different done with the dunk than just changing the colors and the materials. A new buck with a marble material on the side, a snakeskin material, ah. and then an all satin material. And so they really went in, into detail with each individual one because each individual one has a character within themselves. Yeah. And then of course you have the Halloween, the candy corns. Yeah. What do you think about those? I don't like them, but I love the feel and the color though. I yeah. think they did a high because if you hold it upside down, it's it in the shape like, yeah. of a candy corn, personally. He's like a sneaker thesaurus. Yo, he Very got to, bro. In, in his knowledge of the yeah. detail. Now, if you it. don't remember back in the day, they did the red satins. Yeah. It was a women's release. It was very, very rare. A lot of the pairs till this day go for, I mean, you tell me how much would they go for right now? More than I have in my bank account today. There it is. And so now they're re-releasing this, but now it's going to be the public is allowed to get it. I like these a lot better. And I'm aware of the history on these. J Balvin's. They aren't out yet. What you think? I think these his too. Now, crazy thing about these is we had a, a pack shipped in this morning. We had a full size run. Yeah. A guy came and bought all of them but one. The color scheme on this is gorgeous to me. To now, be this is going to be the, the silhouette to the sunrise of where he's from. And uh -huh. so that's what the concept is of the, the faded orange, yeah. and the orange to yellow. This shoe is going to create a lot of consumers. Colors are safe, even though they're loud and aggressive, but you can wear that with darks, lights. Yeah. It makes it, it works. Male or female? Right. Yeah. What's your favorite on the table right now? I mean, it's really this one. Yeah, it just looks like Super something out of an anime or something, bro. I Definitely. don't know. Rubber tires. Y'all appreciate it, man. Coming by, bro. Man, thank, thank you, you, you so much. Me. Yes. JC, thank you for the lesson, bro. Pleasure, my guy. Thank you, thank you. Nah, that's a vibe. Your boy yeah. 2Js. Guap. <laughs> we in here. <laughs> it's going up.